Hello, my name is Amy Noakes and I'm a master's student at Anglia Ruskin University and today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of the Cambridge campus. This is a 360 degree video and you can pan around it with your mouse or move your mobile device to look around. So here we are at the front door where the main reception is. This is the Helmore building, full of small teaching rooms and the offices of the Arts, Humanities and Social Science lecturers. On your timetable, this building is called HEL and the room numbers begin with a digit which denotes the floor level. For example, zero for the ground floor, one for the first floor and so on. The Disability and Dyslexia Service is on the third floor in Helmore 341. They offer in-person and virtual meetings. Now we are going to walk up the street through Helmore. Though it is called the street, it is an inside space as you can see. It is the main walkway into the heart of campus. On the left you can find the main restaurant and above that on the first floor is a coffee bar and our gym. There is a lift with access to all three floors located here next to the main restaurant. Now we are passing the stairs on the right which take you up to the open access computer room across the first floor. There is a notice board with sports information and leaflets. This area normally has lots of posters and flyers about events happening such as talks and society meetups. At the end of the street you can find the main information hub for the campus known as the iCentre. This is the first point of call for questions and queries relating to university life and where you'll go to collect your student ID when you first arrive. Here you will also find the library, a central point where students can study and take out books for their course. Now we are going to walk through the Mumford Building, past the Mumford Theatre. The Mumford Theatre is home to our performing arts courses such as musical theatre and acting and you can see shows here throughout the year. As we exit the Mumford building, you'll go up the stairs past the David building. There's also a ramp you can use here on the other side of the stairs. You'll remember this by its living wall full of plants around the side. It is DAV on your timetable. Here is the Students' Union space where you can get somewhere quiet to sit and you can also access advice from the independent SU advocacy service and student reps. Wrapping around and above the SU space is the Hall of Residence known as Peter Taylor House. Going through the archway we come to the Ruskin Courtyard. Tucked away around the corner by the web building are the 3D workshops. The web building is home to our postgraduate research students with open access computer suites. It is WEB on your timetable. Coslick contains many small classrooms and small lecture theatres. On the ground floor is our law clinic space as well as accessible gender neutral toilets. On the fourth floor there are optometry labs. This will be known as COS on your timetable. Here on the right is the Student Union shop which sells items such as stationery, lab coats and art equipment such as sketchbooks, paints and paper. Now we see the back gate out onto Collier Road and Mackenzie Road where many university houses are situated. The gate and short walk down the road leads onto Mill Road, full of a wide variety of shops, food shops and restaurants from all over the world as well as a co-op store just at the end of the road. This route is the quickest way to get to the railway station and the CB1 and rail yard accommodation. Turning back on ourselves, to your left you'll see the red brick building known as Ruskin. In Ruskin you'll find an exhibition hall, print rooms, photographic and media studios. 
This building can be a bit tricky to navigate as it has four levels and it has different sets of stairs. There is a lift as you enter the building from Mumford, so please don't worry if it takes you a few goes to find a room. There are normally lots of people about, so if you're not sure, you can always ask them. We are now going to walk back towards the David building and back down the steps we climbed earlier. We have now made it to the Science Centre with its amazing shimmery tiles on two sides and this is SCI on your timetable. This houses our biggest lecture theatre, Sci 105, and the Super Lab, Sci 106, where several classes can go on simultaneously. Upstairs, there are small research rooms for psychology experiments in the wooden turrets of the atrium. Now coming out of the Science Centre, we enter another courtyard area full of tables and chairs. On one side is Lord Ashcroft Building, which is rust coloured and wraps all the way around the square, housing the business department offices and the large open access for computers we mentioned at the beginning. This is LAB on your timetable, but not to be confused with a laboratory. On the other side of the square is the back of Helmore building where you can see through the windows the restaurant, the gym and the disability and dyslexia service on the third floor. Going out of this gap, we come to the Broad Street entrance and on your left, you can see the Employability Service, AOE Temps. If you exit the campus here and follow the road around, you'll access our two other buildings, Young Street and Compass House. It'll take you around five minutes to get to these spaces walking along East Road. Young Street houses courses such as nursing, paramedic science and music therapy. It is YNG on the timetable.
Across East Road is Compass House, which houses courses such as sports science, computer games and computer science. This will be COM on timetables. So there you have it, a circular tour of the campus taking in all the main buildings. We hope this gives you a good preview of what to expect and helps you find your way around. If you've got any queries, you can visit our website www.aru.ac.uk or speak to one of our friendly team members using answers at aru.ac.uk or our live chat feature.